Another powerful product is called Boswellia. Uh, it's also called Sly Google. In Western herbal biology, it's called Frankincense. It's very aromatic. If you burn it, it works and smells like an incense. It's a very pleasant scent. It's mostly in arid areas, and the plant, with, which we, so the part of the thing which we use our plant is it's a raisin from it, the gum raisin. It's a very sticky raisin. And it has an excellent anti-inflammatory properties. It's used for rheumatoid arthritis. It has a diuretic properties. They use for dysentery and diarrhea, and the reason I will talk about it, why, and some skin disorders. There's another study where they did the Indian Institute of Medical Sciences in India, where there are 42 patients. They were given the Boswellia, ashwagandha, and a zinc complex combination. And they were evaluated every two weeks for pain severity, morning stiffness, again, same with the articular joint index score, disability score, grip strength, and see if they can squeeze hard enough, the joint's not hurting enough, they won't squeeze hard enough. There was significant improvement without the side effect. There's a USA clinical study, it's not a double blinded study by a cancer physician, where he tried an ashwagandha on 350 patients with advanced muscular skeletal disorder with a significant improvement in two to four weeks. There's another study, they're all coded and highlighted in the book, so in the notes, if you want to look at, you can always study about it. About 70% of arthritic bedridden patients experienced good to excellent improvement. Uh, it says it can help to eliminate or reduce NSAIDs. I've never started with my patients with NSAIDs first. I always start them on to see how we need to do it. Beauty of Boswellia is, and I'm going to talk without flipping the slides, is it could be used for bony inflammation, arthritis. It could also be used for soft tissue inflammation, ulcerative colitis, IBD, or acute trauma. The reason we can do that, there is a two pathways of inflammation. And what they call cyclooxygenase or chemotactic pathway helps immediate pain and edema, helps to mediate vaso and bronchoconstriction, mediates the pain and fever associated with inflammation. Another one is a leukotriene pathway, and for that reason, you can help with the bony things. Bony arthritis, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, bronchial asthma, again, psoriasis too. What I realized that in my practice, I've seen a lot of uh, labs in Goldens. They were only 14 months old, two, less than two years of age because of inflammatory bowel disease, and they've been given and put on a lot of uh, steroids and then go to a topica and a few other things, and they're lost losing their herbs. They have a tons of yeast on them, and they smell and stinky, and they still staph infection. With the diet, slight diet modification on the Boswellia, we were able to totally get him off to all those things. I remember a client named, she used to have, a, she used to bring in a beautiful basket. I don't know why she did it. She will have a very colorful presentation to it. She will order the supplement and arrange it, and she will take it home like it was a gift. She said, you saved my dog, and I, she always did it. It was, I, I've never seen another client do that, but her basket was about this size basket had a handle on it, she will put herbs in according to the order and carry it like a, she was cladding a flower bouquet. But we got this dog off all those things for this thing. Again, the doses on this thing is the way I have based on my clinicals here. And again, you can vary on These products do not have any free risk of overdosing it. 